Last week, gold enjoyed one of its best five-day stretches of the year this week and ended with a bang, rocketing to fresh all-time highs in both the spot and futures markets. Hi, this is Colin Plume, CEO of Noble Gold Investments. Gold rocketed through multiple levels of resistance, rising from $2,452.63 just after 3 a.m. EDT Friday to $2,494.07. And after a brief dip back to 2,481, it was off to the races once again, this time driven by a disappointing U.S. Housing Starts report. After pulling back as low as $2,479 per ounce, gold resumed its steady march higher, breaking above 2,500, bolstered by hopes the U.S. Federal Reserve is edging closer to cutting interest rates. And this week is action packed. This coming Thursday, markets will receive initial jobless claims and the S&P Global Manufacturing and Services PMIs for August, along with U.S. existing home sales for July. On Friday, markets will receive more housing data with the U.S. new home sales report for July. But the main event will be at 10 a.m. EDT on Friday when Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell delivers his speech from the Central Bank's Jackson Hole Symposium. Markets will be paying very close attention to Powell's Charles Choice of Words as they uh, look for confirmation of a September rate cut and possible indications that the cut could be even larger than the 25 basis points already fully priced in. But how will the rate cut affect gold? A rate cut can boost the price of gold for several reasons, primarily related to the relationship between interest rates, the value of the U.S. dollar, and investor behavior. One, lower opportunity costs when interest rates are cut. The opportunity cost of holding non-yielding assets like gold decreases. In other words, investors are less likely to forgo potential interest income from bonds or savings accounts when those returns are lower. As a result, gold becomes more attractive as a store of value. Two, weaker US dollar. A rate cut often leads to a weaker US dollar because lower interest rates make the currency less attractive to foreign investors seeking higher returns. Since gold is priced in dollars globally, a weaker dollar makes gold cheaper for investors holding other currencies, driving up demand and consequently its price. Three, inflation hedge. Lower interest rates can lead to higher inflation expectations because borrowing becomes cheaper, potentially increasing spending and investment. Gold is often seen as a hedge against inflation because its value tends to rise when the purchasing power of fiat currencies falls. Therefore, as inflation concerns grow, so does the demand for gold. Four, increased demand for safe haven assets. Rate cuts are sometimes implemented in response to economic uncertainty or a slowdown. In such scenarios, investors may seek safety in assets like gold, which is perceived as a stable store of value during turbulent times. This increased demand can drive up the price of gold. Five, reduced real interest rates. Real interest rates, which are adjusted for inflation, tend to fall when nominal rates are cut. If real rates are low or negative, holding gold becomes more attractive compared to bonds or other interest-bearing assets, leading to higher gold prices. As economists believe that a 25 basis point cut is a given, it means gold will most likely continue to rise. If the cut is more than 25 basis points, gold will most likely reach $3,000 sooner than expected. Bank of America and Mike McGlone, senior commodity strategist at Bloomberg Intelligence, already predicted that gold will cross $3,000 in the next 12 months. You want to get some gold in your hands. People talk about it. Where's the price? Where's the price going? You want to learn about it. You want to see the charts. You want to see how you can get this in your hand the best possible way with the best possible prices? Check out our link below. Get our free gold and silver investment guide. Or, if you want, give us a call. 877-646-5347.